Taxi booster ignition. Engines at maximum thrust. And lift off. That was a successful launch on Friday, taking one astronaut and two Russian cosmonauts up to the International Space Station. And now NASA is getting ready to take another big step as they prepare for a historic test of the first ever helicopter on Mars. That's right. You can see the craft, which is named Inge Ingenuity. On your screen here, waiting on the red planet with its blades wide open. Joining me now to talk about tomorrow's test is the Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, Thomas Zerbuchin, or Dr. Z, as most people in the industry know him. Uh, doctor, thanks so much for joining the program to chat with us about this really historic flight. And you have been comparing this helicopter on Mars's first test flight. You've been comparing it to the Wrights Brothers' first flight way back in 1903. Help us understand that comparison. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. And, and yes, it's truly a, a, just an amazing uh, step forward. The uh, Wright brothers, you know, were innovators that developed a new technology, a technology that's affecting my life today. I was thinking about that as I flew from DC to LA just a couple days ago. And of course, it was the first controlled flight on this earth, right? Kind of away from the ground, just 12 seconds. Right seconds of history. Well, we're trying to do exactly the same away from Earth, an extraterrestrial Wright Brothers moment, controlled flight away from Earth in a very hard environment uh, and, in Mars. And Dr. Z, let's talk about this environment because, you know, in some ways uh, it could theoretically be easier to fly a helicopter uh, or some other device uh, on Mars because there's less gravity than here on Earth, but they also have uh, less of an atmosphere, which makes it harder for those blades to really uh, create any lift. So what are you going to be watching for during that very first test flight? So you're exactly right. The, the, the gravity is a little bit uh, weaker there, but but think of the atmosphere. So it's kind of, if you compare that at the, at the Earth, kind of the, the density of the atmosphere at Mars is about three times the height of where airplanes fly on Earth. So it's very, very, very high up. So so it takes a lot more speed of that blade, of that helicopter and a bigger blade to take off. So the control system to kind of keep it controlled and actually using that lift kind of with, with very low uh, atmosphere is really, really hard to do. And that's what the team has been working on and testing. And so what happens if it, if it crashes? I mean, is that it? Game over? Uh, what do you do? Yeah, that's the difference between the Earth and Mars, right? We cannot go put it back up. So that's what we're doing now is we're doing test after test and going stepping towards it. So by the time we're taking off, we have basically tested everything we can test. Mm -hmm. There's a few mm -hmm. things we cannot test, for example, uh, the air flows, right? There's also wind there. And if we get that on a, uh, on a day where if we don't get <laughs> Good luck there. We have a gust or something. You know, the the helicopter will need to fight it, and uh, and you know, uh, you know, it's more risky than on yeah. Earth. Yeah. So, Doctor Z, we had you on today because this helicopter was supposed to fly for the first time tomorrow. You guys had to push it back a bit because of those tests, as you were just talking about. But if we zoom out, big picture here, why is this kind of test flight proving to the world that we have this kind of capability? Why is it so important? Well, I believe it's a truly American story, just like the Wright brothers. We keep doing really hard things that have never been done. And for us, uh, the Ingenuity flight is just a demonstration of that. It creates an entirely new capability. Without doubt, after a successful test, this will have impact on Earth. But surely, it will keep us ahead uh, in a leadership role uh, of the entire programs and kind of uh, allow us to set kind of I put a new tool into the toolbox of exploration that we're using on of Mars and other worlds. It's so fascinating. I can't wait to watch this test flight. One more quick question for you, Dr. Z, before you go. Uh, President Biden put forward his proposed budget just this week, and there was a pretty big increase for NASA and especially the Earth Sciences Division. What did you make of the budget? Is it enough? I believe that the budget demonstrates the bipartisan support that we have. If you look at it, it's actually many of the elements that the budget supports kind of in, in this proposal by the mm. uh, by President Biden kind of is really a continuation and uh, of the work that was uh, started in the previous administration. And, and of course, we look forward to the discussions with the various stakeholders on the Hill. Uh, I believe that the budget is really strong and we look forward to working with them. All right, Dr. Z, thank you so much for your time. Good luck. Godspeed. I can't wait to watch.